decided to save us a little bit of time by cutting back here. Keep trying to attack them. Try to attack them. Stop trying to attack them. So gravity works pretty well on these guys, as you can see. Does a decent amount of damage. Get them on at least. Uh, we can't act I don't think we can activate the switch while, uh... Well, these guys are here, so we have to get rid of them. This is the small amount of fighting that you have to do. With the beast. Ouch. Thanks, beast. So many of these enemies are, are designed to waste time by disappearing like that. It's almost as if they... They said, okay, let's... We need to make these trials for the uh, Colosseum. Let's make this monster uh, disappear, and this one teleport, and this one teleport. So we're just going to skip past these guys, head for the door. And like I said, it would be locked earlier if we hadn't hit the switch. And in we go. And here we are, the seven princesses of heart. Or at least six of them. Though there are seven girls in this room. I wonder who the seventh princess is. Oh, purest of hearts, reveal to me the keyhole! Uh, Maleficent? I think it might be that giant keyhole thing behind you. Just saying. Just had to turn around a little. I don't know, maybe it's just a weird wording. Could have said, like, unlock the keyhole or something. Be on your guard. They're close. I can feel it. Are you ready for them? <gasps> no! Hey. Yeah. Quit while you, you need can. to be on the guard. No, not without Kyrie. The darkness will destroy you. You're I wrong, shop Riku. at Hot Topic. The darkness may destroy my body, but it can't touch my heart. My heart will stay with my friends. It'll never die. Really? We'll, we'll just see about that. Ah! Goofy, clearly standing on the other side of the room, teleports in front of us. Not on your life. But I'm not gonna betray Sora either, because he's become one of my best buddies after all we've been through together. See you later, Donald. Could you tell the king I'm really sorry? Hold on, Goofy. We'll tie up together. Does he join me because he wants to, or peer pressure? Well, you know. I'll forgive you. You're stuck with us, Sora. Thanks for now. Donald Goofy. How will you fight without a weapon? I know now I don't need the keyblade. I've got a better weapon. My heart. <laughs> Your heart? What good will that weak little thing do for you? Although my heart may be weak, it's not alone. It's grown with each new experience, and it's found a home with all the friends I've made. I've become part of their heart just as they've become a part of mine. And if they think of me now and then, if they don't forget me, then our hearts will be one. I don't need a weapon. My friends are my power. Keyblade decides, yeah, maybe this guy that's obviously fallen into the darkness is the bad choice. Boss fight time. Yeah, I didn't think there'd be one this early, did you? Well, let's show off a summon. Uh, yeah, let's get some more magic. Thanks for the arrow. Uh, now the air, the second level and third air, um, the second and third level arrows do a um, small amount of damage to the enemies on contact. 
Um, I don't have much of a strategy for this fight other than attack. Ooh, next item's up. Um, as long as you keep your defenses up and keep uh, healing, you should be fine. Thanks again. Let's show off Tinkerbell. Tinkerbell is the only summon that will not make your partners disappear. Uh, basically, she stays on the field and auto heals you every now and then. I could use another arrow of oh, no, magic. Ooh, nice jump. That's okay, we almost got him down. And that's it. Hit him so hard his clothes changed. And he runs. So your heart won this battle. Alright, and we learned the White Trinity. So we're gonna stick with these two for now. Probably gonna stick with these two for the rest of the level. A uh, beast is a lot of fun, but his pure physical attack. Uh, isn't as, uh, great as Goofy's, I feel. Um, I ran back out because I want to go grab that red, uh, uh, not the red, the white trinity. And now we can do some real damage. Uh, these guys usually go down in about, uh, four hits, sometimes five, uh, for now. Uh, this is actually a weaker version of them. They, they get a lot stronger after this. Uh, somebody else attacking us? Ah, the Wyverns and the Defender. Wyverns are, are nasty enemies mainly in this area because they're, uh, they've got a lot of room to run. And if you're not careful while you're attacking them, you might end up dropping down there. So let's zip back to where we saw that white trinity. Uh, we don't have to worry about that. Uh, worry about the blue trinity for now because we'll actually go there a little bit later. All for one, one for all. And we get a Fundaga G. Not really worth the trip back, but there's no point in not getting all of the trinities. Uh, after I'm done with our first trip to Hollow Bastion, we'll have to make a second one later on. But after this first trip, once we leave, I'll do another montage of the white trinities. Now this room is devoid of Heartless for now. Won't be forever. Uh, right now we need to get through this door, but it's locked. There are four sockets. What goes in them? Uh, probably things that are shaped like that. Now to the library. Ooh, this place looks familiar, doesn't it? Grab the books. Matching colors. Karma. Or comma. Comma? C-H-A-M-A. Uh, these little spinny things are annoying. Each one has a treasure in it, and it's kind of random on where to land. So you can get it on the first try, or you can be here forever waiting for it to land. And it can land on the same one that it was just on, so it's a one in three chance each time. So we're just going to stand here until we get it. There we go. It's worth it for an elixir, though. Check around here. Uh, getting around is a lot easier now with Glide, so... This little puzzle room shouldn't be too bad. Am 
most annoying thing is these treasures here. Come on, cooperate with me. This isn't what people come to see. Me spinning a spinner. Around and around. These things actually remind me of uh, something from uh, Resident Evil. Uh, I don't know if anyone who's played it remembers, but there's this tiger statue on one of these rotating things. And if you put uh, a blue jewel in one eye and a red jewel in the other, it rotates in that direction. Theon? And Trinity? Uh, th this is one of the few Trinities that actually you have to get for the, the level. Which I thought there were, I, I think there should have been more of. Uh, that one goes here. No, that one goes in another one. Then the orangish one. Push the button. And unlock the door. And that's all we have to do in here. But there's still treasures to get. First try. So, we're going to go back to the yellow ones, if I can remember where they were. We'll go up here first, and around, and one more of these rotating things. I wonder what these are called. I'm sure they have a proper name. I wish I had some. It's a good use of space. Especially building them into the support columns of the room. Overall, good decoration here. Good decoration. So with Kyrie being seen as a little girl in this library, the obvious implication is the world this is the world she comes from. As uh, as to how she got here or how she got to Destiny Islands in that meteor shower they mentioned at the beginning of the game. I do not know. I'm not sure if they ever explained that. Let's check our abilities. Still only has one, still has zero, three, so what can I put on? Let's put on uh, Critical Plus. Increase our chances of getting a critical hit. We got a green book. Also got a yellow book. There are the red ones from earlier. Let's put the green book in. I take the blue. Not much of a uh, not much of a puzzle, like I said. I just got to remember where the other ones were. I know there was a purple one somewhere. Where are you? Hmm, think, think, think. Thinkity, think, think, think. I don't have this one, right? This one. I'm missing a book somewhere. Ah, here we are. That's the one I was missing. Knew it. Knew it, knew it, knew it. So that should be it. I should be able to get all the ones I need in a row. So we put the yellow one back on here. Got the green one. We take the green one down here. Stick it in here. That'll give us access to the purple one. And bring the purple one up, and that that'll be it. Room 
problem solved. And this brings us to the lift. Yes, the lift stop. Now you'll see these treasures floating up here. Just gotta use gravity to bring them down. So you can get yourself more gummies you probably don't need. Oh no, Dalmatians. We do need those. Now we have to remember this room for later. Uh, as we make this slow climb up. Very slow. In the next area you'll see that we'll go to the left, I believe. Yes? Yes. Uh, there's a switch later that we'll get that clearly switches it to the right. Uh, we'll have to remember that for later and come back to uh, get another treasure on this left. So remember, it's the one in the library. All of this for one treasure. Something good, something good. <sighs> More gummies. Not so good. That's okay. It's not like we have to sit here through a long, drawn-out cutscene that I have to, I can't skip. I can't even pause. I'm hitting start right now. Click, 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 click. Might run a little long with this one. Uh, not sure if I'll, how I'll split the recording up. Probably just make this last set a bit longer. Because it is a bit of a ways until the next save point. That's okay. You know what? I'll just finish up this room out here and then we'll head back to the save point. Powered by crushing. Well, crush. And, uh. Crush. Thank you. And there's a piece. And we got some unlit candles. Fire! That's one. Take that. And we got another Trinity that actually works with the uh, with the level instead of just being for an arbitrary item. That's two. Scene and then probably call it a day. A one, two, a three. Open. Why? It was mine. No. That is strong and true shall win the Keyblade. What? You're saying my heart's weaker than his? For that instant it was. However, you can become stronger. Good, good. You showed no fear in stepping Give in the to the darkness. darkness. It held no terror for you. Plunge deeper into the darkness. And your heart will grow even stronger. What should I do? Definitely getting Palpatine it's really by quite vibes. Simple. 
Open yourself to the darkness. That is all. Let your heart, your being, become darkness itself. I wonder if the director is a Star Wars fan. Anyway, we got some enemies to fight. Now that we've done that, the enemies will start appearing in this area. We'll quickly fight these guys off. Uh, the wizard enemies are called wizards. Pretty simple. Uh, they like the uh, defenders and their, s and their defender... Uh, shield, sorry. Uh, the wizards can drop a staff for Donald. They also teleport, because like I said, a lot of enemies in this area like to waste time. Come on. Hello. Uh, other than the final weapons... The, uh, uh, the shield and the staff that those enemies can drop are the strongest in the game, I believe. Uh, so, you really do want them to drop one. They're also required for the trophy you need to uh, get all weapons. Uh, but we'll skip these for now. Go back into the library and save. Uh, that's it for now, but we still have a lot of Hollow Bastion to go through. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Uh, join me next time as we finish up this area. Go back after Riku, who's given into the darkness. And thanks for watching. Have a good night, and take care.